So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how to set up a Google Tag Manager account in order to link your Google Ads account, in order to link your conversions, in order for you to see every single lead, purchase, phone call, whatever you're tracking into your Google Analytics to see how many Google Ads leads or purchases your campaigns are getting. Make sure to stay tuned. I hope everybody had a happy new year, happy holidays, but it's over. It's time for 2022. It's time for growing your business. And what better way to do that than with Google Ads? But there's a clear problem that happens many times when our agency goes ahead and audits an account, and that's that conversion tracking is not set up properly. So in this video, I'm gonna help you guys do exactly that, set up your Google Ads conversion tracking properly. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use Google Tag Manager, which has a debugging mode to allow you to make sure that your campaigns, your ad groups, your ads, your landing pages, your website, whichever you're driving to are firing properly so that Google's taking all of that information and saying, hey, this keyword got you this conversion. So in order to accomplish this, you're going to need a Google Tag Manager. If you don't have a Google Tag Manager, I'll walk you through it real quick, but we don't have too much time, so let's just hop right into it. We'll go right to tagmanager.google.com, and if you don't have an account, just link it to whichever email you're using. We're gonna go ahead, create a new account, super straightforward. Account name, container setup, test.com for web. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and accept all of these terms that none of us are ever going to read. And so this is the first step, installing Google Tag Manager. So you're gonna take this code, you're gonna take this code, and both of those are gonna be placed onto your website. If you have a WordPress, you can use insert headers and footers plugin, which is phenomenal. All you do is copy this first part into the first box, copy the second part into the second box hit save and you're done. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna log into the Blue Water Marketing Tag Manager because that's where most of our tags are set up. So we have a list of our tags here. Now these are all of the various events that we wanna track and for people to have in order to track conversions. Now in order to use that Google Tag Manager, you are going to need to link it to your Google Ads and let's hop into that. So first up, you're gonna to go to Campaigns, you're going to go to Tools and Settings, you're going to go to conversions. So what we're seeing here is we have a number of different conversions, contacts, get directions, engagements, page views, phone call leads, all of these different forms. Now what happens is they start to add up. Some of these we don't even use anymore, but it's always good to keep them instead of deleting them because then you're going to lose data. Now, as you can see, we have not run any Google ads recently because our SEO is phenomenal and we're getting three, four leads a day so we don't need google ads right now because it would just be too much for my team but for you if you're looking for more this is the perfect solution and if you guys are finding this video useful go ahead give me a thumbs up it's a new year new content new technologies i'm going to be reviewing all of this with you guys so make sure to give me a thumbs up or if you really like it hit the subscribe button get notified every time a new video comes out which is every single week so let's hop back into conversions so you're going to want to go and click plus new conversion action now this is going to be where things get a little different is depending on what type of business you have you might want website conversions app phone calls we're going to go with website because we're using google tag manager so we can really consolidate most of these into this one conversion tag you want to select your goal category so for this we're going to do submit lead form options primary action used for bidding lead forms is in a default goal perfect now a lot of times if you're an e-commerce store you're going to want to put a value associated with your lead now for us there's varying costs of all of our services so we're going to go ahead use the same value one dollar each and every time this form is submitted it will count as a lead three days Last click, these are pretty standard across the board. Go ahead, create and continue. Now here's where things get easier by using the Google Tag Manager. Because if you didn't do this, you would have to install this code across your website every time this event takes place, 
whether that be a phone call, a form submission, a purchase, an add to cart, any of these you would need to manually code it so that the button element triggers this event. This way with Google Tag Manager, it takes all of that out. It's one code that's consolidating all of your events way better and it helps with site speed because you don't have all this code loading, you have this one Google Tag Manager snippet. So we're gonna go ahead and click Use Google Tag Manager. Now at this point, you're gonna take this information and you're going to use go back to your Google Tag Manager. Now, if you have a thank you page, you can direct these to the thank you page, but if not, if it's a simple button, click some element on your website that you wanna track, then you can go ahead and just use the button link click. So you're going to go over to triggers. Now this is me assuming you've already connected your Google Ads conversion tracking linker, which is the first step before going into any of this. We're gonna click new trigger, GA form submission, Google Ads conversion tracking. Now this, again, you needed to set up before, and I'm sorry, we just don't have the time to go through it. Super straightforward, click that. Conversion ID is where you're going to go back to your conversion ID. Copy this, paste it there. Conversion label, paste that. Conversion value, we set it at one. True, true. Now we're gonna to go to trigger. So what is the trigger that you want to take place that's saying Google Ads, Google Tag Manager, this is a conversion. So we've set up a number of different triggers already. So I don't have to duplicate the wheel again, but I will show you what happens when you're debugging. We're gonna set up a new trigger right now, and I'm gonna walk you through this. Form submission. Trigger will be user engagement form submission, all forms. Now we're gonna go into the Blue Water Marketing website and Google Tag Manager's debugger will essentially show that everything we've just done works perfectly. And we wanna go right in here. We'll get one of our account managers really excited when they see a $20,000 a month budget. And within this, we're going over here. So once you've established that the debugger is working, you have all of your tags firing properly within the debugger. Then what you're gonna do is you can preview the workspace identify which changes were made, click on it, and hit submit. So the submit button is going to take all these different events that you just set up, the triggers, the tags, everything that you've connected, and set it to Google Tag Manager, which automatically sends it to your website. So then you're not having any additional coding being done on your website, which helps in so many different ways, ease of use, convenient, and site speed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have questions or if you'd like me to do a follow-up, please leave a comment in the description below. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We put out all different types of content. And if you like reading and if you like long form content, go ahead, check out bluewatermarketing.com forward slash blog, where we have tons of how-to articles, tutorials, top tips, trends, everything you need for digital marketing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next week.